Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for September 16th, 2021. Oh, there's that one. This is what wants to come out. Kindred Spirits. Guys, this, it's, it's going to seem like very, very difficult times on the surface. And yes, again, we've been talking about this. This is part of the process. But we are having people... Uh, because we're changing our energy, we're changing our consciousness, people are in fact coming together. Soulmates are coming together. Or you might realize, let's go on to this one, because again, if we ever get hung up on somebody, like really, maybe you're obsessed, okay? I was obsessed in the sense of like, why does that person keeps popping up, keeps popping up in my head? They gotta go. <laughs> they got stuff to do. If they're not gonna just show up in their integrity with lots of love and be healthy, I, I gotta go. But that person kept just coming up and coming up. I would dream about them. I would, oh, you wanna hear something creepy? I'd wake up in the morning and feel almost like they were there next to me. And like it was quite natural to roll over and be like, hi, honey, good morning. Ugh, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? No, see, that's that can be very much a soul a soulmate connection, but last I realized that's not why that person was there. That person and some of these dreams that I was having, it was to get me to realize where I was stuck, okay? Goes deep, it's boring, you wouldn't be interested, so I'll spare you, but <laughs> this can be that kind of thing where we get, especially with kindred spirits, where we feel like, no, that's profound. If I'm dreaming of that, if I can almost feel them next to me, our connection is so strong. That is special. I agree. But that does not equate to a healthy love partnership or a healthy friendship. No. That connection, here's the thing. You can have a connection in 5D that is loving, caring. You see the good part of that person in that realm. But they have a lower self, and so do you, okay? And the lower self is the one that you're trying to connect sometimes. Does this make any sense? So in 5D, that connection is special. Yeah, you are learning from one another. Man, you guys showed up and you taught each other a lot, a lot. Your lives are very different for having known one another. But if you were to try to come together in the 3D, bet it wouldn't work. Or if it did, it would be with um, a lot of like, you know, considerations, right? It would have to be like, oh, we got to figure this out. I'm going to strategize about this and how, where are we going to live? And, you know, all of these things to bring it together in, in 3D, okay? So when we talk about kindred spirits, these are connections perhaps that you have in 5D in the fifth dimension, okay? And you're still learning. You're still connected. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to, for some of you out there, it doesn't mean it's going to be in the 3D. So there's that message. And then there's this other message of if you have gone through uh, sort of this long journey of the soul where you've been on your own, you know, it's like your own initiation, you might find that this is a time that you're coming out of that. And now you are having really beautiful, in the 3D, <laughs> beautiful friendships coming in, um, beautiful partnerships. Could that be a love partner? Absolutely. Absolutely. But just be careful. I just, you know, because there's a difference here. This whole like ugh, relationships and all that, it's very nuanced. Yes. And we as humans, when we came in here, yeah, the whole idea was to have relationships with one another and to learn from one another. But um, we can definitely have pitfalls around that. Cool. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.